Okay, so today I'll be teaching you how to um, record audio, uh, implement existing audio into the GEC. So if you've asked your friend to record something, they send you it across. I'll show you how to uh, get that in. And then finally, I'll be teaching you how to generate lip files and how to set all that up. Um, by default, Fort New Vegas cannot generate uh, lip files, at least the GEC won't. So I've created a uh, Dropbox, uh, sorry, not Dropbox, a Google Drive link. Um, for you so that you can uh, take those files and put them where they need to be. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So let's just say we've picked the goodbye line. Um, so to record audio within the GEC, which is the easiest method, um, simply double click the line you want to record, um, then come down here to this section here and just hit record. So see you matey. All right, let's just preview that with this button. See you matey. Right, you know, so there's a bit of a delay, that's because I've been recording quite a few lines. The more lines you record, the, the longer the delay is on the preview button. But um, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to hit save. If you weren't happy with it, just record again, then hit preview, see if it's right. And then just double click this line here to see if it plays. See you, matey. Alright, perfect. Um, if you wonder what the configure button does, um, it's just basically so you can select your microphone. The first time you select it and hit OK, this comes up blank, just hit OK again. Then go to configure, select the microphone again. And now you can choose the bit rate and the um, just basically the input format. So best one, in my opinion, um, I think it's probably an industry standard, is the 44,016 bit. Hit OK and OK. Um, now the second thing is, let's just say your friend has sent you an audio file. So um, you've asked your friend to record, um, let's just say, uh, this line here, glad you agree. All right. So. Since they're not in the studio or in your house with you, they can't record this line. So what they're probably going to do is send you an audio file. So, or maybe you've recorded audio files in Audacity, for instance. Anything can happen. Let's just say you've got the audio file outside of the GEC. So this is, um, what was the line again? It was, uh, glad you agree. Glad you agree. All right, there we go. Let's complete that a little bit there. Go to file, export as WAV. And I'm going to put this um, now this is the important part, let's just put it on the desktop for now. Um, let's just call this um, line one, just for now. All right, we can close this. Now the first important thing you must do is double click on this and copy the voice file name uh, text there. Now I'm going to go to the desktop where it is and then I'm going to paste it in there. Okay, so now the file's named adequately. Now we are going to go to the sound uh, voice, uh, pirate kitchen, male adult zero one default. And then we're gonna put this in. Now an important thing is um, this voice type is defined um, basically by what voice type it is here. So if you've created a custom voice, then you'll have to um, create a new folder or if it's an existing one and then rename it to the voice that um, matches up. So if this was pirate voice, I'd simply create a new folder and call it pirate voice. But if you've recorded lines for the pirate voice already, then that folder will already be existing. So don't worry about that. We're just sticking with the male adult 01 default for now. Um, I'm just gonna minimize that. And um, let's just hit cancel, double click. And you'll see that now the WAV exists. Now, if we double click it, you agree? you can hear it in. So as long if you double click this line and you can hear something, that means it's definitely working. So that's good news. Um, now you're probably wondering how do I generate lip files because if you haven't got the lip file um, in, uh, the phonics data specifically, this just converts the WAV file to sort of like the facial animations for that WAV file. It's, it's a very useful tool. Obviously that's how you get the, the mouth to move. So. Um, simply go to the down, uh, the description down below. Uh, I've put this. I put a link to these two files. Um, then you want to download them, and you want to put them in sound, voice, uh, processing, and then put the two files here. So you could probably see up here, Fort New Vegas Data Sound Voice Processing. Just put the two files in there, and you should be sorted. Um, then what you want to do is close that, select the line you want from WAV, and then hit Generate Lip File and we hit OK and then open it up again. We can now see the lip files generated. Now, if it won't generate, um, a little trick I found was if you select the microphone that you want to use uh, and hit OK again, select the microphone you want to use 
and then select the bit rate and hit OK. Select this from WAV, generate lip files, OK. I found that sometimes it wasn't generating lip files, but when I did that, it started generating them again. So, uh, very useful trick. Uh, you don't really need to save when generating audio or lip files because there's no actual changes to the ESP. All the files are saved sort of individually. So, that's why you won't get a little asterisk when you've recorded sound or generated lip files. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I um, hope, hope this was clear. If not, leave a comment or a dislike. If it was, make sure to leave a like, comment, whatever floats your boat. And I'll see you in the next one.